Hello, my name is Brian Dixon. I'm the Vice President of BD Loops. Welcome to our first loop talk. Today, we're going to talk about a very important step that should never be skipped when installing inductance loops. That step is tinning or soldering the loop lead-in connections. Tinning or soldering provides a superior electrical connection and prevents oxidation or corrosion, which can cause intermittent loop problems, such as false detections, or detector lockup. Let's take a look. If you are hooking your loop directly to the board or detector module using a screw down connector, you should always tin the lead ends. Tinning is when you coat the exposed bare copper wire with solder. This is what bare copper looks like. And this is what tinned copper looks like. When you tin your lead end the screw down connectors will get a better grip and the wires are much less likely to come loose. In our experience, it is very easy to pull bare lead in wires out of a screw down connector and nearly impossible to pull tin lead in wires out. This is something we demo at our training class sessions and always take installers by surprise. So let's go ahead and demo that real quick. We are going to connect the bare copper to the screw down connector. It is just going to be a hand tight screw down. And you see when I give it just a little bit of a tug, it comes out relatively easy. We're going to do the same exercise with the tinned connections. Once again, just hand tight. And now when I give it a tug, it doesn't even come loose. If you're connecting your loop to a wire harness kit, you need to solder the connection. Just twisting the wires together and screwing on a wire nut is a bad installation practice. Never just use a wire nut to connect a loop to a wire harness kit. The problem with wire nuts is that they are made for 110 to 220 volt circuits. Most loop detectors energize the loop with only 3 to 6 volts. At this low voltage, any oxidation of the wire joints can create enough resistance to cause the detector to have false trips or even lockup. Soldering the loop lead-in to the wire harness kit will prevent the connection from coming apart and will prevent the electrical connection from oxidizing or corroding. When you're performing service on an old loop system, inspect the loop lead-ins and make sure that they are tinned or soldered. Tinning or soldering the loop lead-ins can sometimes fix intermittent loop problems that are caused by poor electrical connections. To be able to solder and tin, you will need to carry a soldering iron on your service truck. You can purchase a traditional plug-in soldering iron, or you can purchase a butane-powered microtorch with soldering iron tip attachment, like this microtorch we offer through our distributors. It is important to solder or tin electrical loop connections to prevent oxidation or corrosion. Soldering or tinning your connections might seem like a hassle, especially if you aren't aware that portable butane-powered soldering irons exist. BD Loops offers a trigger start microtorch that comes with a soldering iron tip attachment. Unlike traditional soldering irons, which require you to hold the soldering iron in your hand, ours has a handy base, so you can set it on the ground and work with both of your hands. Another major advantage is this microtorch heats up hot enough to melt solder in about 30 seconds. The microtorch can also be used to shrink shrink tubing. Best of all, you don't have to find an electrical socket to use the soldering iron. It's powered by butane. This microtorch can be purchased through any of our distributors. 
just ask for BD loose part number MT for MicroTorch. So what we learned today in this loop talk is how important it is to tin or solder electrical loop connections. If the connection becomes loose, oxidizes or corrodes, the loop circuit will not be completed, which will cause the gate to be held open or prevent your system from working properly. When on a service call, troubleshooting a loop system, one of the first things you should do is check to see if the loop lead-ins are tinned or soldered. You will be surprised at how often this simple exercise will fix the problem. Check back often for more Loop Talk videos, or click the red subscribe button below to stay in the loop. Sign up for the BD Loops newsletter to have all the latest articles, test results, and videos from BD Loops delivered right to your mailbox. A link to sign up will be provided below the description of this video. BD Loops contains a wealth of information all about inductance loops. Check out our education and more section to take your installation game to the next level. Thank you for watching.